Hey, it's Ryan here with Parts Doctor. Today we're gonna to show you how to replace the ice route case assembly on this Samsung refrigerator. We're gonna need one tool for the job. It's gonna be a Phillips screwdriver. Let's get started. For this repair, we'll need to unplug or disconnect power to the refrigerator. First, we'll start off by removing this Phillips screw. With the screw removed, we'll next remove the dispensary cover assembly. To remove the dispensary cover assembly, you'll put your two thumbs on the side and firmly grasp the ice dispenser hole on the bottom and pull it towards you to remove it. With it removed, pivot the left side out. There are wires connected on the right side that we'll need to disconnect. Next, remove the wire plug by depressing the retaining clip. With the dispensary cover assembly removed, we now have access to the ice route case assembly. To remove that, we'll need to start by removing these two screws. With the two screws removed, you'll need to pull out and downward on the ice route case assembly to remove it from the waterline. Next, we'll remove the wire connector by depressing the locking clip. If you have a bad ice route case assembly and you need to purchase a new one, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You'll want to make sure that you search with the model number from the tag on your refrigerator to make sure you're getting the correct part. To reinstall the ice route case assembly, we'll start by plugging the wire connector back in. Next, reinstall the water tube into the ice route case assembly, making sure that the wires go behind the tube. Next, guide the assembly up and towards the rear to put it into place. Next, we'll reinstall the two Phillips screws. With the ice route case assembly installed, next we'll reinstall the dispenser cover assembly. Next, we'll reinstall the electrical plug by pushing it until it snaps into place. Next, we'll tilt the dispenser cover forward and insert the rear of it into the recessed opening on the door. The cover is held into place with six locking tabs. Firmly push on the edges until they lock into place. Next, reinstall the Phillips screw on the bottom of the dispenser cover. Now that everything's back together, you want to plug the refrigerator back in and test it out to make sure that everything's working properly. So that's it for this repair. If you have any tips or tricks of your own, let us know in the comments below.